Everybody knows the best thing about Resident Evil 4 is the inventory management. I remember back, and I'm gonna date myself here, back in the MySpace days when I would go on the video game forums and people would be talking about how they should make a whole game based off the inventory management system found on Resident Evil 4. Well, that was 2006, and now, a few years later, we now have a full game based off of that. I introduce to you, Save ladies and gentlemen, room. Save Room. Save Room is just that. It is inspired by, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say Resident Evil, uh, the survival horror genre, and it takes a huge inspiration off a certain numbered franchise. A lot of the things here borrow from what that game has, and I'm not talking about just like aesthetics and mechanics, uh, it's just feel too, how the environment looks. Obviously there's not much of an environment, you're in a suitcase 100% of the time, minus the title screen and the final screen you get but i think the best thing about this game is that how it makes you it's like a resident evil knowledge check about resident evil 4 right because everyone can move around it's easy to just move around stuff and fit them into the right place but what do you know about combining items and mechanics and how to heal yourself properly and how to damage yourself in order to make sure you have the right amount of items that fit into your briefcase. And some things can get very challenging. There's 40 levels in total, 40 challenges, each one getting progressively harder. And I think up until like level 30, they keep introducing new mechanics and weapons. And the weapons do matter only in the fact that you do need to reload your guns old school RE style, which means going into your inventory, selecting the proper ammunition type and loading up your gun with that. You have gunpowder here, you have herbs, like obviously you have ammunition type that you can combine and gun mixing gunpowders does make a difference. Obviously a red and red is going to make handgun ammo and then a red and green is going to make magnum ammo. If you're an OG like me and you've been sticking around since the OG Resident Evil days, PS1, you're going to familiarize yourself with the color coding, right? Red is handgun, green is shotgun, blue is machine pistol and so forth and so on. Usually white, from what I know, Resident Evil 4, rifle is white, but that's not it here. So it's gonna be a huge knowledge check, it's fun. None of the thing here is super challenging. Maybe I was stumped in one stage, but it didn't take me long to figure it out. It only took me about an hour and a half to two hours to fully complete the game. Uh, I'm not the best at inventory games, but like I said before, this was just a huge knowledge check on Resident Evil 4 or just Resident Evil in general really so if you're familiar with those systems this is just takes a little bit of an extra spin on that you should be fine if you're unfamiliar with in Resident Evil 4 and puzzle games this might take you a little bit longer but either way it's a fun way to just like mellow down chill out pull out the switch in the bed and you're just trying to relax and just kill some time or whatever it's perfect for that you know I it's only it's only like two bucks three bucks it's not that big of a wallet killer honestly most of the fun for me was just getting to test my resident evil knowledge skills and inventory management and such like it, each thing has its own little fun explanation but just by examining it everything here is 3d modeled each item has its own model and it just it has that nice little simplistic slow rotation that you see when you ever examine items in the Resident Evil universe. Honestly, if anything, this game made me want to go back and play Resident Evil 4 and get me more hyped up for the Resident Evil 4 remake. So even though as small as the game it may be, I think it's getting me hyped up for what I really want. And that's honestly just more Resident Evil. But either way, this is a fun game in itself. And it's just that. It's, it knows what it is and it doesn't take itself too seriously.